Hello, good morning all of you. Welcome back again in uh, today's session. Uh, we will see the analysis of coal. Why analysis of coal is important? Because it can determine the various constituent present in the coal sample. I think in the previous uh, session we have already seen there are two different types of analysis of coal. Number one is the proximate analysis and number two is the ultimate analysis. In previous session, we have already completed the proximate analysis of the coal in that moisture, volatile matter, ash and percentage of fixed carbon we have already studied. Now in today's session, we will see the ultimate analysis of the coal. In ultimate analysis of the coal, it can determine the elemental constituent present in the coal sample. Which one? Percentage of carbon, percentage of hydrogen, percentage of nitrogen, percentage of sulfur, percentage of oxygen, percentage of ash present in the coal sample, right? So let's see the number one is percentage of carbon and hydrogen in ultimate analysis of the coal. So just we will look at the PowerPoint presentation. In ultimate analysis method, number one method is for determination of carbon and hydrogen which is present in the coal sample. Suppose when the coal sample containing carbon and hydrogen, right? So carbon and hydrogen is burned in presence of oxygen, right? So the carbon, carbon is oxidized to what? Carbon dioxide, right? If your coal sample containing what? Carbon and hydrogen. So your carbon is oxidized to what? Carbon dioxide and hydrogen is oxidized to what? Water, right? So uh, the reaction is like this. Carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide. H2 plus one half O2 gives what? H2O, right? Then this carbon dioxide, CO2, is absorbed by what? KOA solution and H2O is absorbed by CaCl2 solution, right? And from the increase in weight of KOH, right, and CaCl2, we can find out the percentage of carbon and percentage of hydrogen which is present in the fuel sample. See, this is the diagram of what you were experimental setup, combustion diagram. Now, here is what, this is the pure and dry oxygen is passed, right? Uh, here is, there is a um, copper oxide uh, compartment is there. Again, we can put the uh, substance over here, right? Then, uh, this combustion apparatus is connected with the two different U-tube, right? First U-tube containing the... Um, anhydrous uh, absorber, right? So it may be containing CaCl2 and here is what your KOS solution it can be filled up. The procedure is very simple. A known quantity of coal is taken into the crucible, right? So in this combustion apparatus, the crucible is placed, right? So known quantity of coal is taken into the crucible and placed into the combustion tube for heating. Pure and dry oxygen has been passed through one side okay of the combustion tube which is swept out with co2 and h2o vapor from the combustion tube the liberated water vapor are absorbed by uh, in cacl2 and co2 is absorbed by koh solution right so carbon dioxide carbon dioxide it can be absorbed in what koh and water vapors is absorbed in what? CaCl2, right? And from the increase in weight of the CaCl2 and KOH, we can find out the percentage of carbon and percentage of hydrogen. Now, formula to calculate the percentage of carbon and percentage of hydrogen. Formula is what? Percentage of carbon which is equal to increase in weight of KOH U-tube, right? divided by weight of coal into 12 divided by 44 into 100. What is the 12? 12 is the atomic weight of what you are carbon and 44 is the atomic weight of what you are carbon dioxide and 100 is the constant factor, right? So formula to calculate the percentage of carbon equal to increase in weight of KOH YouTube divided by weight of coal sample 
into 12 divided by 44 into 100. By using this formula, we can calculate the percentage of carbon present in the coal sample. Second one is percentage of hydrogen. So hydrogen can be calculated by using this formula increase in weight of CaCl2 U2 divided by weight of coal into 2 divided by 18 into 100. What is the 2? 2 is the atomic weight of hydrogen and what is the 18? 18 is the atomic weight of what? Water into hydrogen into 100. So by using this formula we can find out the percentage of carbon as well as the percentage of hydrogen. So this is the method to determine the carbon and hydrogen content present in the coal sample. Right? I think we will stop here. So I hope that you understood the ultimate analysis of the coal. The first method one is the carbon and hydrogen content, their reaction part, procedure and calculation. Uh, based on the um, calculation part, numerical mostly asked to determine the percentage of carbon and to determine the percentage of the hydrogen, right? So I think we will stop here. Thank you very much. Thank you.